Blessings and love, divine souls. I hope this message finds you well, happy, calm, recovered from the crazy energy of the last 24 hours or so after getting hit by that x-ray energy from the sun. Wow. So today I just wanted to take a minute to come into some clarity perhaps. A number of people have kind of expressed to me that there has been some I guess unrest or unsettling feeling about where things are at globally. So I wanted to sit in meditation today, get some guidance myself personally, and then also sit with it about what I take for responsibility for and then what is also happening globally. So I did. I got clarity and much guidance. So in the meditation, I was shown that as I asked and called upon the Divine Mother and Divine Father energy, the answers were from Divine Father, I'm not really part of this process right now. I am holding space and anchoring and securing the vibration to hold protection for all of what's about to unfold and it's definitely the Divine Mother energy that is bringing through and auguring through this massive quantum shift. <sighs> no surprises there I guess in some way but being told directly that that's what was kind of happening right now that was kind of incredible. So I was communicating to one of the 12 today in meditation and had a conversation with them and their higher self about the events that are coming to our planet very soon. And the reason for having these conversations is that many light workers, beings of love, earth angels, are really quite burnt out right now and tired and not really sure what's going on. And so I wanted to get some clarity. So I got my clarity for myself and what I needed to do and communicate to that person's higher self in this life on this world. And then I also got guided to do a very quick confirmation reading, which I don't normally do, of the events coming on our planet in the next five days. So I had some galactic cards that I used and the cards that came out really did give some confirmation of real clarity for the next five days. So the card that first came out that literally le leapt out <laughs> was the Undyne card. Undyne is the sacred water spirit, an elemental archetype really not just like a water sprite, but something incredibly powerful, an elemental being that governs the waters of the planet. So I was shown and told that there is about to be some events to do with water, maybe more than one, but we are coming into an event where water was shown to me first. So in the next card that came out was the swan. Now, of course, the swan is a being and a, and a divine creature of grace and calmness and beauty. And so as we have these events unfolding globally, we're being asked to remain calm. We know what's happening, to go forward with grace, and grace is about compassion through love for ourselves and others, which means that whatever we are going through and others are going through as these things are unraveling, we are to be calm and grounded and hold our space to ride out these waters, to glide and ride above. 
the next card that came up was the dragonfly. Now the dragonfly is seen as the highest vibration of transformation. So we are going to go through a quantum shift of transformation or the start of that in the next five days. So I'm just going to check that I've got the cards in the correct order, which I do. Dragonfly. Wow. A being that starts off in the murky waters and rises above into the light. Freedom and liberation. Sounds pretty good to me. The next card that came was the falcon. Now the falcon, like the eagle, is showing us to, to see things from a higher perspective. So to not get caught up in the low vibrations of things, but to look at things from a higher perspective and stay in that. Knowing and having that wisdom we can apply to the situations that are unfolding because we understand that the changes that were happening around us, that are happening within us, are all for the ascension of this planet, all about liberation and us coming back into what we should be in the fifth dimension. The next card was Salamander. Now, Salamander is a very interesting creature. It's usually the unseen being. So there is an unseen event that is to do with fire, something quite explosive and perhaps volcanic. Again, there's nothing to be feared. We're all held in the highest vibration of love and light. And that was shown to me over and over. The next one, and the last card in this group was the spider. Now the spider is all about the mother divine creator. Incredible. So the message I received is that the divine mother creator is part of weaving us back into the cosmos and back into the galactic system. So it's looking at major changes of our planet in such a way that we're coming back into the original codes that were weaved for us by the Divine Mother Creator and our planet, restoration of our fifth dimensional existence. Then after this reading, which was incredible to get such clarity, then one card came out and it was about the equinox. Some time ago when we were talking about the window of opportunity for these events to, or the event to happen was between the 10th of February and the very end of March. So that did get a little bit shifted around from what I could see that the timeline got pushed back by five days and it was the 15th of February when we started having quite distinct solar and cosmic events happening shifts across the planet on all levels on the very physical and to see the changes and shifted shifting and alliances of energy back to a higher vibration and now we're coming into something quite different to the equinox the equinox is coming in just over a week and the card that came up for this was the griffin now the griffin talks about overcoming karma, overcoming all of the low vibration stuff and really coming into a transmuting space globally. So we be, move beyond karma. We move beyond all of these low vibrations and what we've been trapped in. And so the planet is looking at coming into its highest vibration, coming up towards the equinox. So we know that there are a number of events that could unfold. And all should be seen with love and the highest vibration of protection because we are. I have been told time and time again there are infinite beings of love looking over us and making sure that our planet is held in a zone or a space of containment and vibration of love and stability. So whatever unfolds, know that we are looked after. <sighs> so
sending much love. I hope that this brings forward some really positive feeling and some restored, I don't know, perhaps faith that people have had a bit of a wobble in in the last week. Let me know what you've experienced and sending love again. Thank you.